to the one copy of it. Now even if you didn't understand all that, just know then there are several disadvantages to using the attach detach commands. So now let's turn to some alternatives which require just a bit more typing. Here's D1. Say I want to access then X. One way to do it is like this. Name of the data frame, use the dollar sign and then now type the variable you want. So do dollar sign is saying something like look in this object D1 and extract from it a variable, say x, there. Say I want year from D1, year, like so. Similarly for D2, D2 x, pulls that out. And if I want to do computations, that's perfectly fine, because I can say D1, D1. I can say find the mean of x in the data frame D1 there, which would be different to, to the mean D2. I can, any time I see a variable, I just use this kind of sint syntax, then the name of the data frame, dollar sign, and then the variable name. So if I wanted to run a simple linear regression, regression y and x from data frame D2, this is what I do. So this is of the form ln open bracket dv tilde iv and here is that's accessing the dv this is accessing the iv. An alternative way is to use the with command. The syntax for this is of the form with open bracket name of the data frame comma and then the rest of it is just the usual command. So here we've got with from the data frame D1, I want to find the mean of x, like that. I could do with from the data frame D2 plot x and y, which are from which are variables in D2. Not a very useful plot there. Another example is regression. So with the command D2, do a regression of y and x. Like this. So regress y and x, where y and x obtained from the data frame D2. Right then, so to recap, several disadvantages to using detach attach so it's better to avoid it although that even though there is a slight advantage with attach command that we can type less to do what we want in R give you three alternatives you can use the the dollar sign so data frame dollar sign and then the variable to access your variable you could use the with command, which are the form with, open bracket, name of your data frame, comma, and then the usual commands you would type in if you're using attach. And where allowed, you can use data equals data frame, and that's popularly used when you are doing regression. Okay, so I hope that's been some use, and uh, avoid using attach.